welcome to spring. Our sales of magnificent jewels and fine jewels are right around the corner on April 17th and it is time once again for me to show you some of my favorite pieces in the sale. We have fabulous iconic design, wardrobe essentials from all the great houses as we always do and I'm very excited to show you. Now, this may not be a wardrobe essential for everyone but I have to start at the top. This magnificent necklace from Bulgari, the completely crusted in diamonds Serpenti necklace, is really an iconic design from Bulgari. They've been working with the Serpenti design since the 40s. It's evolved from the gold tubagas through the 70s in multicolored enamel, and then finally ending up in a contemporary piece like this, full of gorgeous diamonds. Charlize Theron wore a very similar necklace to the Oscars, and it's been worn on the red carpet by many other actresses as well, including Naomi Watts, Rachel Weisz, and Julianne Moore, so you can't get more iconic than a Serpenti from Bulgari. And another perennial design is the tassel. I'm gonna start with this great tiger eye and gold with just a few diamonds from the 70s. I wish you could feel the weight of this tassel. One of the great things about the tassel is the tactile quality. It's just something to feel and enjoy the weight of all the time. Also, it offers a lot of movement. The tassel has come in and out of fashion over the years. I think it's very much in right now, and I really credit Natalie Portman wearing these Tiffany earrings to the Oscars in 2011. This is what really started the current tassel craze, and they've been around for a while. These are Rubelet tassels with diamond tops, and they're not the exact ones she wore, but the same design from Tiffany. Every season we are so pleased to offer wonderful vintage jewels from Van Cleef and Arpels. They really dominated, particularly in the mid-century in the US and in Europe. I've got examples from many different periods. So let's start with this necklace from the 50s, the angel hair design, or cheveux d'ange. Beautiful example, and we always see these do very well. We move into the 70s, these great sautois, so popular, gorgeous color. This one in coral and chrysoprase with a beautiful pendant at the end that removes as a brooch. And I think I count four clasps on this necklace, which means you can break it all up, you can wrap it around as bracelets, and it's an extremely versatile jewel. And then of course, we've got some great contemporary Van Cleef. We always have a, a great selection of Alhambra necklaces which are beautiful and popular. That design has just turned 50 years old. And then the snowflake. Luckily the snow is over in New York, but these could be worn any time of year. One more piece of beautiful Van Cleef and Arpels. These earrings are absolutely gorgeous. Emeralds and diamonds, so sculptural, timeless, and really special. And finally, I'm going to finish up with the biggest brooch of all. This is an absolute art piece. This is made by Cartier, Art Deco, 1925. Gorgeous brooch, carved emeralds, beautiful coral, fabulous old mine cut diamonds. It's just incredible. It's called a pendaloque because of the pendant nature of the brooch and it would actually have been worn high up on the shoulder and just sort of dangle here. I think you could also wear it maybe right there on a tie. Very, very rare piece. We have many, many beautiful things in both the fine jewels and magnificent jewels sales. The exhibitions open on April 12th. The auctions will happen on April 17th, and I hope to see you there. Thank you.